peatlands are often thought of as wastelands. But they are unique ecosystems, breeding habitats for birds and plants, our last wilderness. Peatlands are nature's water storage, acting as a buffer against flooding, providing clean water. And they are vitally important to the world's climate, storing more carbon than all the forests in the world. Ireland is unique because so much of our land cover is peatland, and the relationship between people and the bog is central to Irish culture. But this is a relationship that has changed over time. Over the last 60 years, our peatlands have come under enormous pressure, and something fundamental has to give. So how do we think about our peatlands in the 21st century? What is our responsibility to protect them, and why? This is a wild area of County Mayo. 11,000 hectares of peatlands and mountainous terrain in Ballycroy National Park. The Iron Duff Bog nearby is one of the last intact blanket bog systems in Western Europe. Many locals here still use turf for their winter fuel supplies utilising turbury rights, as they have for generations. Michael. Duncan, you're very welcome. Pleased to meet you. How are you? What a wonderful place, wow. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, nice and a nice day. Absolutely. It'll be rough and a bad day. Michael cuts his own turf by hand for his family's winter fuel needs. So where's the bog? The bog is just down this way. Just beside you? Just beside the house. Though. Wow. Only you. Uh, so you just have to go next door? Just next door. No one in this community lives far from the bog and many are dependent on it to heat their homes. So when did you cut all of this here, Michael? Uh, this was cut uh, last March and April. Right. And I noticed that there's some of the turf still out there. Some of the stuff is still out there. The lower down stuff dries quicker. So I cut that later on in the summertime. We seem to be getting our summers earlier in the year now, and we seem to be getting a lot more rain where traditionally we would have a summer. So it's getting harder to cut turf? It's getting harder. If you don't cut it early, you won't save it the last number of years. Yeah, yeah. There are very few people left in Ireland cutting turf by hand like this. I spent many spring and summer days as a child cutting turf with my father. And this is bringing me right back. OK, so what I'm going to do first is nick the bog, um, which is breaking the piece of the bog that I'm going to cut away from the main blanket of bog, so I can dig into it. And that's the kind of straight line now that you've got all the way along the bog that's there? That's the straight it? line. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, the older people were very fussy that you kept the bog straight. Absolutely. And they'd go very mad with you if you went underneath it. You're doing a good job there. Nicely done. Thank you. I'm not going to be neat like you are now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's a bother. Yeah, they, they look large and big, but uh, they'll only be a third of the size of them by the time they dry out. Do you want me to take over and have a go? Yeah, that's a bother. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Now, I'll probably make a mess of this, Michael. No, you're fine. I haven't done this for a long time. So, we'll Good. let you work away. Now, my father was very good at this. As the old people would say, the bog is in you. It's amazing, you feel like cutting your way through history here. Yeah. You know, you think. And, and as we go deeper down, we're getting closer to the Ice Age. We're getting closer to the Ice Age. 15,000 years ago yeah. when that Ice yeah, Age yeah, passed, yeah. you know. And, and would people now, for example, around the area, that are buying turf from, say, contractors, you know, yeah. who have big machines, they go into the bog with big machines, which are obviously an awful lot more efficient Definitely, at, yes. at cutting the turf. Yeah. But would they understand the damage that's being done? No, well, ordinary people just want to get a product to burn in the fire to keep them warm for the winter. They wouldn't have an idea about uh, what the effect on the bog the machines would have and whatnot. Right, yeah, so in other words, there isn't enough information getting There's to There's not enough people. information out there, no. And uh, 
the way the information has been portrayed to people out there, it's, it's been done wrong too, in my opinion. A lot of people would feel that Europe are dictating to people, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, uh, nobody should be put out. Uh, things are tight, especially here in the west of Ireland, northwest of Mayo, especially. There's, people are just getting by as they are. I think I'm getting a bit better now, what do you think? Oh, I tell you. I've improved a bit. We'll be thinking of you yeah. on Christmas when we're sitting in front of a nice warm fire. The old way of cutting turf by hand is part of our culture and heritage. It all comes flowing back every time you go out there. Like but unfortunately, the reality is very different today. Mechanised turf cutting is now the norm all over Ireland. Intensive mechanical extraction using hoppers and sausage machines to cut turf for heating and for other commercial uses has a much greater impact on the peatland landscape. It is widely thought that bogs are wastelands and that cutting turf is a productive use of a natural resource. But cutting our bogs can transform them from functioning wetland ecosystems into wastelands.